just shooting a quick video here to address another video that I think is going to go pretty big over the next the next week or so, maybe longer, in fact, possibly longer. It was produced by Public Health England, and it's showing how much uh, smoke uh, comes in from cigarettes and how much is collected compared to how much comes in from electronic cigarettes. And they're using it to kind of promote the idea of, of how safe electronic cigarettes are as an alternative to people who smoke. The problem is, this isn't just going to be seen by people who smoke, of course. It's going to be seen by uh, one group that I'm very fearful of, of kids who aren't smoking yet, who aren't vaping yet, and it's basically giving this impression that this is a pretty harmless product, and they're using it based on this experiment that they're doing. Now, I gotta point out the experiment is pretty much a, a little bit of a higher tech version of what the Palmolive bottle demonstration is. And I'll attach links to the video for the Palmolive demonstration in the description here. And it shows how much smoke comes in from cigarettes. And man, it's really ugly if you look at it, how much smoke comes in from cigarettes. And you can really see how dangerous it is because it's so visible. And this was something that I, I kind of knew was coming, that when they uh, were going to do this with electronic cigarettes, it wasn't going to show uh, all the tar coming in because there isn't tar coming in. There's the chemicals coming in from the electronic cigarettes, but it's not the tars that come in from tobacco. And it could very well give the impression that this is a safe product. The problem is, it needs to be understood that the danger of smoking, the dangers from cigarettes, were not just from the tars. There's another video I'm going to attach in here about, boy, with lung cancer, isn't there a cure around the corner? And it talks about how a lot of people have been thinking for years for decades that there's a cure for this. There's a cure. You know, if they're smoking today, uh, by the time they get lung cancer, it's going to be cured. Well, people have thought this for decades. It was never cured. So all these people who thought it, who got lung cancer, they died thinking a cure was coming. But I make a point in that video that lung cancer, let's say they did come up with a cure and they wiped out 100% of lung cancer deaths. That, that'd be great. We'd save a lot of lives. But I made a point in that video that if they do come up with that cure, the majority of people who were dying from smoking would still be dying because the majority of people who died from smoking never died from lung cancer. They died from cardiovascular risks. Now, the conditions that were, or the chemicals that were causing those, uh, those risks were not in the tar. They were not chemicals that you could see in the cotton balls that the, the video is showing that the Public Health England is putting out. They're making it look like this is a harmless product. Well, you gotta understand, the chemicals that were causing the cardiovascular effects were basically invisible chemicals. They were chemicals that would not show in either of the experiments, yet they were still lethal. We don't know what the long-term implication of vaping is going to be. We have indications of certain dangers that are associated with it, and cardiovascular is likely to be one of them because of nicotine. Nicotine is the component in cigarettes that cause, one of the components that causes the cardiovascular risk, and uh, especially because it's mixed with carbon monoxide. Well, you're not getting the carbon monoxide in the vaporizers, but still, there, the nicotine is there, and that's going to pose risks. And then there's things that we just don't know what's going to happen over the long term. It takes decades to find this out. Anyway, I just want this video to address for people to see that and think that, oh, this is a safe product. I mean, look how safe this looks. And again, you got, you got a big government basically trying to endorse this concept. We don't know how dangerous this product is going to be. We do know certain things about this product, though. And the one big thing that we know is it's going to addict the people who use it. If you're a smoker, hey, you're already addicted. But it's going to addict people who've never smoked a day in their life who take this up thinking it's a safe product. And it is not a safe product, and we don't know just exactly how dangerous it is. But again, that's where we were 50 years ago with cigarettes. We knew there was a problem, but we didn't know how big. And now we found out it was killing one out of two people who did it. Well, we don't know what the long term is going to be with the vaporizers, with the electronic cigarettes. We just don't know. People who are using it today are guinea pigs. We're going to find out from them. 
you do not want to be a guinea pig in this little experiment that again very well down the line can end up costing you your life the way to avoid having to deal with any risks of any usage of nicotine is to never deliver nicotine again if you're a user it's time to stop if you've never used before it's time never to start and as long as you never deliver nicotine you're never going to have to face the addiction that goes along with it and you're never going to have to face the consequences that go along with that usage along with the other chemicals that come in with it so to reduce your risk of all implications of being a smoker or being a nicotine addict it really is a matter whether we're dealing with an electronic cigarette or a regular cigarette it's a matter that if you want to face no risks from these products it's now time to decide and implement the program with yourself to never take another puff.